I've been requested to show you how to do a knit from beginning to end. So, this might be kind of a long video, but I always like to do what my customers want me to do. So, start with a slip stitch in red, then chain 14. And 11, 12, 13, 14. Then inserting the hook in the fifth from the fifth chain from the hook. One, two, three, four, five. Do a single crochet, a half double crochet, a double crochet, then two double crochets. Then a double crochet. Making me nervous. Then a treble crochet. I mean, then two treble crochets in the same stitch, actually. Then one treble crochet. And then the cluster stitch, which is two over. And that one. And then that. Okay. One. Oops. I lost count in there, so I'm going to start my cluster over. That happens to me a lot. I go on autopilot, and then I don't pay attention. So wrap two around the hook, put it in, pull up a loop, and go through twice. So I have two loops on the hook. Then two round, like you're doing a treble, insert the Insert and pull up and just go through one. So now I have four loops and then just pull up one and I should have one, two, three, four, five, six on the loop, on the hook and do through two. That's one, two, three, four, five. Now I do a chain and turn and through both loops, I count down one. I do single crochets down one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm going to change colors. So I insert the hook in the circle, pull up the red. Now I'm going to get my white. And pull the white through and then I do a chain and turn and working in the back loops only do a single crochet half double crochet double two doubles another double two trebles one treble In a cluster. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Chain one and turn. Single crochets one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm going to change colors. Put, the, put it in there. Pull up the white. Now I always fold, just to make it easier, I fold the white back, the white string back, and then I pick up the red again and pull it through and chain one. And then I'm going to start going back up again. I'm going to pause it until I get six reds and six whites done. Now I am getting to six red and six white, and I'm fixing to go back down toward the center. So I've already made my chain. Now one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now 
I'm going to connect it to the center, but I'm not going to change colors. So I put the white through, and then I pull it up. I'm going to go ahead and cut my red yarn to get it out of the way. Cut my, sorry, cut my red yarn to get it out of the way. Now I'm going to connect the sides. Turn it with the right sides together. Can you see that? And I count to make sure I do 10 stitches. So I go through the red first and the back loop of the white. Yep. Pull it through and I single crochet. One. And I go in and through the back of the, this one. Two. Back loop. Three. Four. chain, then I slip stitch in that first hole. So now I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. The next one, one, two, three. One, two, three. Notice that the front of the mint is facing toward me. And the last one, and I've cha chained. So I've done the trim around three red and three white. I'm halfway around because I'm going to connect it on three sides. That's where it goes onto my blanket now. So I'm going to get my blanket. And I'm on my last row of this blanket. So it's going to go right here. see it, but I'm doing my last row right here, so I have one, two, three more mints to do, and then I'll start doing the border, but here's the, here's where I'm going to put it, wrong sides together, wrong sides together, the white to the red, and I always start the chain three spot before the red, right here, you see it? Here's the red, here's the chain three spot. So, chain, then I go to the white, slip stitch chain, and go to the chain three space, slip stitch chain, go back to my place on the white. And I keep going. Connecting the red to the white, red, and the white, slip stitch chain, red, slip stitch chain, white, slip stitch chain, red, slip stitch chain. Now I'm, I'm at the corner. See, I'm fixing to turn. I'm turning. 
I always like to connect it to over here. See how that red, the one right before that red, I don't know if you can see it. So I go across and do slip stitch chain. Now I'm ready to turn the edge into white, white slip stitch chain. Last one on that red, fixing to turn another side. So I'm going to go across and pick it up there, right before the red. Now I'm on my last two stripes. Chain, slip stitch, chain, slip stitch, chain. in back in that original white where I started my trim. Pull it up and here's the chain that went on here. I just saw them just a second ago. There they are. And I snip it. Oops. And I snip it. And I take my needle Sorry for shaking. Take my needle, and here's the back. It's always four strings, and I prefer to go ahead and finish it off after I do each mint, partly because I hate this part. I've never liked finishing off and hiding the threads, so I try to do them after each mint so that I don't have to do, do it for 63 mints all at once. This way, the torture's just a little at a time. <laughs> and I get it over with. So there's the red. This red on there. And this white, my last white, what I like to do, and you don't have to do it, this is just my little thing, and it's not in the instructions at all, because there's red and white stripes around here on this last white thread. I usually wind it through the red like this so that it kind of looks like the other stripes. And then I finish it off. That's just one of the, it's just one of my little pet peeves, but it's definitely not required. Let's see how now it looks like it's red and white striped like all the other mints, all the other stripes. And then I snip them and I'm done. And there's the back. And there's the front of the mint. So now I just have two more mints to do. And I'll finish this blanket and I'll do the border. But there's already another video on how to do the border. So thank you.